Welcome to Boomerang's HTML editing overview video. In this video, I'll be describing the many features of the HTML document editor that we use throughout many of our online ASP tools. The WYSIWYG HTML editor allows you to create great looking HTML email messages and documents without needing to know any HTML coding. Before I get started creating my HTML email message, I wanted to point out a few features of the window you're looking at so we're all on the same page. Like many computer interfaces you've probably seen, there are a number of icon buttons at the top of the editor. These buttons give you quick access to the functionality that you would expect in any word processor as well as other offline HTML editors you may have used. There are buttons to manage the file and editing operations such as cut, copy, and paste. There are buttons that insert many common features such as the current date and time, images from your image gallery, and tables. And the next row of buttons contains the text formatting tools you'll need to change attributes like the fonts and the colors of what you are editing. I'll be going into a lot of these features in the video, so don't worry about it if you think I'm glossing over something important. There is one button I'd like to call out as of special interest, however. This is the Paste from Microsoft Word button. When text is pasted from Microsoft Word, a lot of unnecessary word-specific markup is carried across. This can result in web pages that take an unnecessarily long time to download. The Paste from Word button solves this by removing word markup before pasting the text into your page. Then down at the bottom of the window are the three buttons that let you move between modes. There is the normal view, the one we're looking at right now that lets you view the document in WYSIWYG or what you see is what you get format. There is an HTML view that lets you view the sometimes scary HTML code for what you're creating. And then there is the preview mode that lets you see what the document would look like in a browser such as Internet Explorer. Now on to the demonstration. To demonstrate the editor, I'm going to show you two examples. In the first example, I'll create an email message from scratch with some text and some graphics from the image gallery. In the second example, I'll show you the template gallery containing dozens of professional, ready-to-use email messages where all you have to do is replace some text and send. I'll start by typing in a simple text message I might send out to my customers. You can see that I'm in normal mode and I'm just simply typing in text and not doing any thing yet. Well, when I typed that in, amazingly, I didn't have any misspelled words. But if I did, there's a built-in spell checker to help me out. I'll just change the word address here so that you can see when a spelling error occurs how easy it is to fix it. And you can easily see that the misspelled word is highlighted, and I can easily choose from a drop-down menu the right word. Now that I have my message typed in, I can start formatting. The first thing I want to do is add a logo from my image gallery. The image gallery comes up and you can see that I have a few graphics already loaded. It's really very easy to upload additional graphics into your private image gallery for use in any of your messages simply by clicking on this upload button and browsing your computer for any images you'd like to use. I've chosen my logo, so now I'm ready to insert it into the HTML document and quite simply the logo appears in my HTML document. I'll hit return here so that it formats the next line correctly. Next I want to replace the word customer with a merge code for the person's first name. It's always nicer to send personalized email when you can. And you can see that we have a list of predefined merge codes for you to use. The one caveat I'll say here is that if you plan to use these merge codes, you'll need to send them to us included with your list of email addresses when you upload your list. The next thing I'll want to do is emphasize the words referral program. So the first thing I'll do here is make the font a little bigger. 
Then I'll make it bold. Then I can even change the color of the words. I'm only showing you this because I want to make it clear how easy it is to edit this document without knowing any HTML coding. Next I want to add my picture from my image gallery. And the picture is a little large, so I'll want to resize it. Easy to do in the editor. But I'm not really happy with the formatting of this, so I'm going to add a quick table from the table buttons at the top so that I can format this a little nicer. You can see that I can easily format the table by choosing how many rows and columns they'll be in the initial table. I can always add rows and columns later if I choose. And now that my new table is in place, I can easily cut and paste the pieces that I want and reformat the table so that it looks a lot nicer. So now for all intents and purposes my email message is done. And I've already clicked on the preview tab to show you what this document would look like in the typical internet browser or email reader. And now I've clicked on the HTML tab to show you the underlying HTML code that makes up our document. Remember we didn't have to write any HTML to produce this email message. It was all produced automatically through the WYSIWYG editor. My next example shows how to use the template gallery. The template gallery has dozens of professional looking, top quality, ready to use email templates where all you have to do is substitute your own messages into the predefined areas. I'll start this by clicking on the template gallery button at the top of the window. You'll notice when the template gallery comes up there's already a number of predefined categories of templates for you to choose from. From business and professional to newsletters to service announcement. Under each of these is a number of different templates that you can choose. I'm going to choose the business and professional category for this example. Next you'll see a list of the actual templates that are available under that category. And by just clicking on them you'll see a preview of the template. Once you've chosen a template, you just need to click on the checkbox and hit the include button. Now you can see that the template gallery has copied the entire template into my email message. And now I can edit it as I choose to change both the text and the graphics and the formatting if I want. One last thing I need to show you is how to change a link. The links in the templates need to be edited so that they point where you want them to go. Therefore you need to click on each link and edit it. You do this by selecting the link text. Then you right click on the tag in the bottom bar. This may be a little tricky for anyone who has not edited HTML before, but it is the easiest way I've found to do this. Then you click on the properties menu. Then once the properties dialog box comes up, you simply replace the URL with yours. 
Once again, you can view the HTML if you so desire and edit to your heart's content. Or click on the preview button and see what the document's going to look like in your typical browser. That concludes this demonstration. I hope it was informative. Please let us know if there's any other questions you might have about our services. Thank you for